Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It's a Sunday, which means one thing and one thing only. It's the car boot. Absolute sesh. We're going to go to two car boots today. Hopefully, uh, go and sort the a little bit of the unit out. It depends how much space we're going to have left in the van. So it's not looking likely, let's be fair. But we may or may not do. So let's go and hit a couple of car boots. We're going to try and cram in as many car boots in now until the end of the season, just to make sure we've got enough stock to last us all quarter four. So without further ado, smash that like button. Let's get into the field. <laughs> Well, 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 it looks like a quiet one today. I believe in our ability, so let's go and find some stuff. How much for Blu-ray? Five pounds. Five. I'll take that, please. I tell you what, this is absolute dead. Can't say no to three quid, can I? <laughs> <laughs> is that the remote for it? Yes. Yeah? Yes. Yeah, I'll take that, please. Thank you. Thanks. How much you got on the, uh, how much you got on the sun cream? It's um, not, I would say so old. Uh, they were three pounds. Oh, yeah, I don't think I need any more sun cream. I don't even know what I was thinking. Do you want, uh, what, um, how much are them? How much are those, darling? 50p. Uh, 50p. 50p. Yeah, some, some of them should have it. So £10.50. Go in for round two. Yeah, not bad. Bit of a slow start, but we've got some big chunky things, but really good money. So, yeah, all about the high average sales price in this car boot, clearly. All righty then. First car boot, completely lovely to meet so many people today. Uh, if I did meet you, uh, yeah, legends, legends. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. We're now going to hit another car boot in Spalding on the way back to home. Oh, we have made it again. It looks like a bit of a small one. While queuing up, I've spotted a four paneled fire guard, which we're going to go and try and buy first thing. Try something a little bit different. Alrighty then, let the games begin. Here we are. Oh, let's have a look. Yeah, no worries, four pounds, perfect, thank you. This is pretty nice. Nice Cardiff Blues rugby shirt. How much you got the shirt? How much? Three, yeah. Yeah, three quid, we'll take it. Genuinely, this has got to be one of the worst car boots we've ever been to. You can definitely tell the car boot season is upon us. Well, the end of the car boot season is well upon us. Just picked up this lot from Adrian for like 35 quid, I think it was. Got a few games, got four controllers, uh, a PS4 controller, brand new rack vest on the PS5. The controllers, they're pretty good. PS4 controller we can sell separately. I think we're going to keep the Xbox 360 controllers and add them to our bundles. Because we have got, what, what's happened to me here? It's got all fluffy because we've got loads of Xbox 360 consoles, but hardly any controllers. So they always come in handy. Again, thank you so much, Adrian, for the deal. As you can probably tell, we have hit a couple of car boots in the Spalding area. Um, and surrounding areas this weekend. That's because we do come here to do one thing, and that's to empty the Spalding unit and see my mum and dad and my brothers. They are currently packing up and moving about as south as it gets. So we do really need to crack on and uh, fill the van with the Spalding unit. So we've come here this afternoon after them two car boots to fill this van up. I think we'll get this trip done and then another trip and we should be empty by then. So. Yeah, let's go and get some of this unit empty and go through bits and pieces that will come out of the unit. I'll tell you what, it smells flipping divine in here because we've got a little bit of sun cream left. The rest is already there and sun cream smells amazing. But yes, we still have all this to go. That is going to take one trip alone. The king size bed with the king size bed frame. But I'm hoping we can get some of this stuff in today. To be honest, there's probably a bit more than I first thought, if I'm being brutally honest. I should just come to Spalding and literally just come to the unit and no car boots. Because, uh, yes, this is what we're dealt with. I'm thinking we get the sun cream in and the, these two big boxes and then see, evaluate the rest of the van. So, did someone say? Time lapse time! <laughs> All that sun cream is now in the van. And voila, in the van. Right, I would definitely want these two boxes in the van because they're full of car boot stuff. And the last few car boots that we've done have been pretty, pretty sensational. And it being Q4, it makes sense that we take the good stuff for this time of year. So let's get these two boxes into the van. 
like we have some really nice bits in here. We've got like a, a vintage, I think this is a carry more bag maybe. Adventure two six hundred and two. I think when I bought it, it was like thirty quid. Uh, we've got a tetanus stack system. We've got loads of stuff in here. Like I want to get this back to the unit and processed through as soon as possible and start getting the money back for the stuff that we bought this season at the car boots. Do you know what? Massive shout out to my mum and dad. I've needed testing VHS tapes for ages because we go through so many because we buy so many VHSs and obviously, you know, we want to increase buyer confidence. So we have to test everything. And uh, yeah, I needed some of these <laughs> pretty, pretty badly. We still have six crates of cameras, but I believe there's no chargers or anything. So I believe that all these cameras, because we did organize them, are just battery operated. So it makes sense. If we can take a couple of them back, we will. But like I said, the van is filling up pretty, pretty quickly. And I'm pretty sure there's still some, some stock hiding away in here as well. This box is going to come back with us. Another one, another box full of cameras oh my days like oh my days some good ones as well including that one i genuinely don't even know what's in this box but i don't think i'm gonna get to that box today if i'm being brutally honest i must have had that brats thing for about four and a half years <laughs> like not even joking oh boy uh yeah this crate is full to the brim of lenses and cameras i think that looks like a good one very good, very nice. I've had this for yonks. And you can probably tell by the state. Does anyone want a toothbrush, did someone say? No idea why that toothbrush is just chilling in this unit in that crate for about three years. I wonder what is going to be on this camera. Let me know in the comment section below what you think is going to be on this camera. Also, just pulled out an Olympus AF1. I mean, I'm trying to do this one-handedly and it's failing. Look at that beauty. That should be a 60 pound, 70 pound camera, if working. Would you just look at that fine piece of equipment? Pun not intended. That was just not funny at all. But yeah, look at that. That's pretty cool, isn't it? That's probably worth like 40-ish quid. Like, I have no idea. What on earth? It's taken us this long to get through this, but we had crates upon crates upon crates upon crates of camera stuff. And we're down to the final one, two, three, four, five, six, about seven crates down to the final seven. And uh, a few of them are coming back with us today. And there we have it, one full van. Bish, bash, bosh. All righty then, the unit is kind of looking emptier, but we have no more space in the van until next time which genuinely could be as early as next week depending on um things sort of playing out but yeah we'll keep in contact with that because we could be back as early as next week however let's get home right grafting has been done for the day it's sunday grafting done i'm going to open some foot uh, squad division arrivals rewards because they come out on a sunday and my brother has just packed this guy the one the only martinez and he's worth eleven thousand seven hundred and fifty coins guarantee now that my brother gets better packs than i do yeah unfortunately they that was my brother's best pack no word of a lie that is probably my best pull of the episode hunter great success Oh, I have a love-hate relationship with FIFA. Completely forgot to end today's video, so thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy that video, please let me know in the comment section below. And while you're there, please do me one huge favour and smash that like button. Honestly, I'm actually super happy and excited for the daily uploads. So every half past five, Monday to Friday, there'll be a brand new video to this channel. So please make sure you are subscribed and I'll see you beautiful lot tomorrow. Bish, bash. Flippin' Bosch.